In this video, I will provide you with what I believe is one of the easiest calculations you can use to figure out the difference in the length of the jack rafter. So this would be the difference between the length of each jack rafter and it will also provide you with different layout spacings for example 12 inches on center 16 inches on center and 24 inches on center and again like i said it's probably one of the easiest math formulas for figuring out the length of your hip roof jack rafters and i would also like to point out that i have made other videos on laying out the jack rafters and you can always go to the website to find those videos so the measurements we're going to be working with will be from this point to this point and then the next rafter will be the same it will be from this point to this point the difference will be in the length of the rafter and these measurements will need to be taken on the same side of the board it will either need to be taken on this side to this side or on the other side to the other side but don't flip these measurements around same side long point to this point long point to this point and in our first example we will be working with a 12 inch or one foot on center spacing and the measurements i just showed you will be represented from this point to this point all the way down and if for whatever reason this does not make sense let me know in the comment area because at one time you got to keep in mind I had a difficult time understanding this. So the first thing we need to do will be to figure out the length of the four foot hypotenuse or longest angle of this right triangle. Now the roof we're going to be working with is a four and 12 roof pitch. And if you're working with a different roof, then you will need to use different numbers. For example, we are going to have 16 inches in vertical height on this side, 48 inches or four feet in length on this side and we're going to be using the pythagorean theorem to figure that out i do have another video on that i will try to put a link in the video description box to that video for those of you who are not familiar with it now the length that we are going to arrive at will be four foot two and five eighths inches or 50.5 596 as a decimal and we're going to be using decimals instead of fractions in this video and the reason for that is that I believe it's a little more accurate however you can do whatever you want whatever's easier for you and of course here you can see the different rafter lengths and to figure out those different rafter lengths we're simply going to take this number here and divide it into four units four one foot units and then when we work with the 16 inch model, we're going to have three 16 inch sections. And then in our two foot model, we are going to have two two foot sections. And even though I won't be going into all of the details, I think I will be able to provide you with enough information in this video that will make sense or enough to get you started. And again, let me know if there's anything in here you need a little more information on or you don't understand. Your input often helps me improve my videos. And even though I won't be walking you through the Pythagorean theorem, this is actually what it's going to be and how we arrived at this particular number. And this will be the length we're going to be working with in all three of our examples. Because all three of these numbers, the number 12, the number 16, and the number 24, each divide into four foot, providing us with a common denominator. So once we have this number here, we can simply divide it into the amount of units we're going to need for our on-center spacing. And in this example here, we have four individual units of 12 inches each. So we're going to divide this number here, divide it by four to give us 12.649. This will be the measurement the difference between each one of our jack rafters. And you can stop watching the video right now if all of this makes sense, because all we need to do will be to take our longest or shortest jack rafter. If we're going to start with the longest jack rafter, then we are going to subtract this number right here from it and simply work our way down until we come to the smallest rafter. And you can convert the decimals to fractions to double check all these measurements that I have in all of these models. 
In our next example, we are going to start with the same number again and simply divide it into three units to create our 16 inch on center spacing. And of course, the difference between each one of the jack rafters. And hopefully by now it's starting to register somewhere in your mind what we're doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers here. And again, you can check them out. I'm pretty sure I already double checked them to make sure that I didn't make a mistake because I actually was having a problem. I uh, used the wrong decimal. And of course, here are the numbers that I came up with. Now, this is the last time I'm going to bring this up. You can go ahead and double check these numbers. You can pause the video, write the numbers down. But you can see here with our 16 inch on center spacing, we're starting with this rafter here this length and then we're subtracting 16.865 that's going to give us this and then we're going to take that rafter length here and subtract this number from it again to create this number which of course is going to be almost exactly the same as this one and to check the 24 inch on center one you can see that this is how we did the math and the 24 inch on center one should look something like this and like I said if any of this doesn't make any sense at all, doesn't register with you, then feel free to let me know exactly what you're having a problem with. Don't just say, I can't figure it out in the comment box. I'm not going to do anything with that. You're going to have to actually tell me what exactly you're having a problem with. And if you're having a problem with the whole video, don't even bother commenting. Because even though I've tried to simplify this, I definitely understand that you could have a problem with it because I did it one time. This stuff did not click with me right off the bat. And I'm not about to expect it's going to click with you right off the bat either.